is to use a product similar or Alumaprep. We use the Alumaprep 33. Clean conditions, aluminum. Uh, I put this bottle up here so you can read it or I can read it to you, but when you do it, you're going to want to read the directions anyway. And if your SRM says anything different or conflicts, always go with the SRM or data that's approved. Basically, it says you're going to dilute one part of Lima Prep, two to three parts water in a plastic container. For clean metal, i.e. new metal, dilute with four to six parts water, so it's less corrosive. Brush on, spray on, or dip in aluminum for one to three minutes. Scrub heavily oxidized or corroded with synthetic abrasive pad, Scotch-Brite in other words. Do not allow before rinse, to dry before rinsing. Uh, Rewet if necessary, and then you rinse it. The surface is clean when the water sheets over the surface. If the water beads or channels, repeat the cleaning. And we're going to demonstrate this process and uh, on the new metal, we're going to use uh, the finest Scotch-Brite as we're not trying to abrade it, we're just trying to accelerate the process uh, to get the metal, to clad off the metal and prep it for the aldine, which is the next process in the uh, metal preparation. So back in a sec. Okay, here's our solution. Has been mixed. Uh, Four parts water to one part of Aluma Prep 33. Uh, the directions state that you can soak, paint, or soak, or paint, or brush it on. Uh, it has to be on there one to three minutes. So we're going to dip this in our solution. We're going to move it around a little bit to make sure it's mixed. And then we're going to cover the sheet metal quite liberally where it's wet, and remember, you do not allow this to dry on the sheet metal. So that's pretty liberal right there. And actually, I should have already done this because I put these here. Always wear gloves. Remember, this stuff is acid. So if you have sensitive skin, it will definitely affect you. And if you're like me with hands that you pretty much abuse your whole life, it'll just make them worse. So I'm going to pan back a little bit here. And then I'm going to demonstrate one possible way to gently assist the Aluma Prep in remove, removing the clad and any, uh, if it were there, any imperfections or uh, corrosion or anything in the metal. And this is also critical to the next step of the process, which is going to be at, at putting the aldine on. If you don't put the aluminum prep on correctly, the aldine will not bond. So you've basically just you've ruined your entire process and you have to start all over. Now I'm not as well versed or as uh, verbiose as Norm Abrams or anybody on the do-it-yourself channels, but I think you guys will get the point by seeing the video. You know, you're not going to scrub the heck out of it. You just want to scratch the surface of the clad enough so that the Aluma Prep can get in there and actually do its job. So right now it's dull. It's a milky white. As you can tell, it's not real shiny anymore compared to the side that is still has the clad on it. This side is quite dull now. Now I'm going to look and see if I can see if I missed anything. And always, it's always best to go in a backward, you know, don't go in circles. When you go in circles, you tend to miss. So back and forth, and then back and forth, you know, in, in the opposite direction. And you have a much better chance of not missing anything. Pay careful attention to getting the edges and the corners. Many, many, many times you do it, and you'll find out that you were easy on the edges around the corners, and when you go to do your water sheeting test, the water doesn't sheet and it ends up looking like crap. So we're going to let this sit for about 90 seconds and we'll come back for the water sheeting test. Okay, here we are. We've uh, let this sit for about three minutes. Um, it's dull. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to rinse it. And while I rinse it, I'm going to gently wipe it with the Scotch-Brite abrasive, very mild. This is a 
parser. I don't recommend using this on new metal um, because it's actually overkill and you don't, I mean, it, it's minimal, but you don't want to reduce the thickness of your metal. So by using this, it's new metal, you're not going to affect the thickness. So turn your water on, and then I put it under. Always wear gloves, always wear eye protection. And you see, it's not immediately falling off. So I'm going to assist it a little bit by just gently wiping it with the Aluma Prep. And I'm not scrubbing, I'm just gently wiping. And I'm making sure that it's off my hands because it, you can feel it's kind of slippery. And remember that this is acid. If it, if it gets in your eyes, immediately go into an eye station, rinse out your eyes, and then follow your company's procedures for uh, medical care. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not good for you. So you be careful with it. Now, I don't know, I'm gonna try to demonstrate this, but you see that it's sheeting off the metal perfectly. There is no beading, there is no voids. That is almost, I can't see any spots where that is not perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna call and make sure I don't have any residual on my hands or on the back. It's gonna pervert the next step of this. We're gonna give it one final little wipe for good luck. Very important metal prep, very important. Not, not now, but 20 years down the road is very important because you don't want the aircraft to corrode, especially where you did a repair. I'm hoping the camera picks that up, but you can tell that that looks like a sheet of glass. Um, it's a bad piece of metal we used, you know, to save cut down on cost, so it has scratches in it, but that, that's irrelevant to what we're selling here. That water is sheeting off of there perfectly. So next step, we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna mix up our aladine solution. So we'll be back in two minutes with our aladine preparation solution and we'll do that step and let you see how it works out. So be Okay, this is the next step of the Illuma prep process, or the aluminum preparation process, should I say. Uh, this is aladine 1201. There is many different types of aladine, including a clear one that is used on aircraft that are unpainted or uh, any polished uh, surfaces like leading edges that, you know, it still has to be treated against corrosion, yet there's no paint, so you don't want it to be uh, tinted uh, the copper, brassish color that, that you're going to see that this is going to do. Um, Basically, I'll just read you know, what's on the bottle. Uh, visible conversion coating provides long-lasting paint adhesion, prevents against corrosion, chemically stabilizes aluminum surfaces, and qualified and approved mill DTL 81706-Bravo Class 1A Form 3 Method B for meeting mill DTL 5541F applications. So, I mean, you're obviously, you're, you're an AMP mechanic, you went to school, your SRM will tell you which aladine to use and it may even give you uh, a, a specific way to use it. Always go by your manufacturer's data or your SRM. Do not use this course as a uh, approved data. This is not, this is simply uh, we're more showing you how to do this than telling you technical specifications. So we're basically showing you how, but the technical specs are always in your SRM, your EO, your 337. So always follow any data that's approved. Uh, this, this, is, this is a refresher. This is to teach people the basics. I'm not teaching you about aldine, so you make sure whatever type of aldine that your, your project calls for is what you use. Don't say, I, you know, I said it said to use 1201 on this website or in this course, and I use 1201, which, you know, use the type, the SRM, the EO, the 337, or the manufacturer says, 
We're simply using this because it's available, it's a darker color, and it'll show you the process. Now, the general instructions used is you remove all the oxidation, corrosion, oil, and soil with Aluma Prep 33, which we did. Rinse well with water, which we did. It says brush undiluted aldine 1201 onto aluminum. Allow a dwell time of one to three minutes. Do not allow to dry before rinsing. So if you see it starting to dry in areas, re-wet it as you go. Do not allow it to dry. So we are going to go ahead and take undiluted 1201, and we're gonna swing the camera over here, and we're gonna pan you down a little bit. We already have our undiluted 1201 mixed and ready to go. We're on a little bit of plastic, uh, once again, this is a chemical where uh, hand, skin, eye protection, apron if necessary, protect yourself from these chemicals because uh, you, you know, long-term use of chemicals can be hazardous. So I'm going to coat it. Now as you're coating it, you, you really can't coat it too much. Um, you you want to make it wet. You can even soak it. You're not going to hurt it by overcoating it. But the aluma, the aluma prep is what etches the metal, which allows the aldine to sink into the top and do its job. Now I see a few not bad spots, but spots and, and you see around the edges and you saw I, I hit all the edges pretty good but this is this is one that you know if I were doing this as a project I, I would I would like to have soaked this one we'll see how it comes out and we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes and in about two minutes we'll come back and we'll go rinse it and see how she looks Okay, now we've pulled our part and we're going to rinse it. Uh, we actually went just a tad bit over three minutes. You can see this is an example basically on the back where we did not aluma prep a braid or anything. You see what, what the metal looks like. So that's, that's obviously unprepared. This is the uniform golden color. Um, that metal is prepared. You can touch it. Do not, as we'll be demonstrating here in a second, you do not put anything abrasive on this from this point on. This metal is prepared. I'm just using my hand pressure, very light, using hot water. The metal is a very uniform. It looks almost golden, copper, bronze. Looks very nice. And there are no clear spots, no light or dark spots, so we, we consider this a pretty good product. Um, if you ended up with a product that looks like this, well, you're going to have to go back and start all the way at the beginning, because this is not what you're looking for. This is what you're looking for. It's a uniform color. So we're going to go ahead and show you a piece that has been aladined and cleaned with Scotch Bright, how the Scotch Bright will lift the aldine right off of the metal. Okay, what we've got here is a second piece of metal that we put in the aldine. You can see this one, just like the other, is a uh, uniform golden color. Now, with the different types of aldine, it doesn't necessarily change color. Like, uh, for example, we used a 1201 aldine, which will change it this dark golden color. Uh, 1300 aladine, you won't be able to tell that you won't get the change in color of the metal. So that's why the preparation is so important because knowing that you've done the preparation right, you know without any visual signs that your metal is properly aladine. Now, when you go to clean this, you know, you only use your hand uh, if you want to use a, a cloth towel or a shop towel. That's fine also. If you use Scotts Bright to clean this off, as you can see right there, 
we've taken half the aladine off this metal. Now, using 1201, it's visible. You can say, oh, I've removed the aladine, and know that you have to redo your Aluma prep, your aladine, you have to start the whole process again. If you were using, say, 1300, where there's no visible color change in the metal, you'd have no idea that you have actually ruined all the metal preparation that you've started from the beginning. So, um, again, just make sure when you wipe it, just use your gloves, wipe it by hand, or use a cloth towel or a uh, shop towel. Okay, the next step, once we prep the metal, is uh, to prime it. Now, during most repairs, you're gonna have holes drilled in this metal, possibly countersunk. You wanna get all that done before you prep your metal. But uh, just for class sake, we're just going with a standard sheet of metal that we've Aluma prepped, and we're gonna go on from there. Uh, later on, we're gonna go in depth into painting and priming and everything, but I just wanna give you guys a quick shot of a properly prep metal that's cleaned properly, right away how good the primer will go on. So the first thing, once you've got your metal Aluma prepped, alodined, uh, you're gonna need to clean it. Now, uh, depending on your company, uh, there, there's gonna be, depending on your company, you're gonna need, uh, there's gonna be different things that they're gonna have approved for you to clean your metal with. Here, we normally clean our stuff with acetone, it's pretty good. Look at any imperfections, any dirt, anything off the metal. So I'm gonna go ahead. I've got my little cup of aladine here. I'm gonna wipe off my metal and get it prepped for some primer real quick. Cup of acetone. <laughs> What'd I say? Aladine. Or, yeah, I'm sorry. A cup of acetone, not aladine. Um, once you've got your metal wiped off, as you can see, it'll. Uh, you can pick up a little bit of the bronze color from the aladine, that's just the residue that you're pulling off that won't allow your primer to properly adhere to the metal. So give that a second or two and uh, acetone should evaporate and we're going to go ahead and uh, shoot the primer on this. Like I said, we're going to go into all the details of painting later. Um, but one quick key that I'm sure will be brought up later on by Steve will be to, uh, when you're painting, you want to ensure you're keeping a straight, level stroke. You don't want fanning, because then you're going to have, your edges are going to be light, your center is going to be dark, which could cause runs in the center or improper coating of your metal. So we'll just go ahead and shoot a little fire on this real quick. And there you have it. There's no fish eyes, no running. A properly prepped piece of metal that is cleaned properly. The primer sticks and it's ready to go on the airplane. Okay, and this pretty much is gonna wrap up the section for the video for the metal preparation. Um, and now we'll have some discussion and dialogue and uh, then we'll move into the next section. Thank you very much and uh, we've enjoyed making this. So uh, see you for the next section.